Out of all seven buildings that I've climbed, the hardest has been the Chase Tower. Imagine if your brain no longer processed fear. This individual is known for climbing skyscrapers and his brain is built differently. Researchers from the Medical University of South Carolina performed what's called a functional MRI on a very famous free solo climber named Alex Honnold. During these scans, the researchers showed Alex some images that were particularly designed to induce fear in the average individual. What they found was that no matter what they showed Alex, they were not able to induce a fear response despite the fear-inducing stimuli. It was also discovered during the scan that Alex has an increased sensation-seeking behavior. It means that he needs to do extreme things just to be able to feel something. The individual who's climbing these skyscrapers most likely has a similar blunted response to fear. And if you think about it, that is absolutely essential to be able to do what these individuals are actually doing. One fascinating finding from the research studies was that this part of the brain can actually be trained to not respond to fear. These people were not necessarily born with the capacity to have a blunted response to fear, but rather developed it. And this is very different from just being an adrenaline junkie. Sometimes individuals who are labeled as such typically perform reckless activities that really don't have any sort of planning to it. Whereas something like this requires years of training and well thought out meticulous planning. And I want to hear from you. What is your biggest fear and do you think you can get over it? Leave your comment below. Let me know.